guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing a video that's different to my channel it is going to be an unboxing video which I've done plenty of times on my channel before but I'm going to be unboxing all four of my beauty service subscription boxes with you guys so I currently am subscribed to boxycharm allure beauty box face story and then ipsy as well so if you guys are interested in seeing what I got in my August beauty subscriptions then just keep watching I also am subscribed to Tribe Beauty Box, which is a bi-monthly beauty subscription service. I did just recently do an unboxing for my Tribe Beauty Box, so if you guys are interested in seeing that video, I will leave a link down below. But these are the four that I have a monthly subscription service to. I'm going to quickly run through each of the four in case you are unfamiliar. The first is BoxyCharm. This is my most expensive subscription of the month. It is $21. You get five full-size beauty products in it, equaling $100 in value or more. I really enjoy BoxyCharm. I'm rarely ever let down by my BoxyCharm. There's always at least a couple items in there every month that I'm really excited about and love. So BoxyCharm is definitely a subscription service that I would highly recommend. And then I'm also subscribed to Face Story, which is a monthly sheet mask subscription service. I absolutely love sheet masks. I was subscribed to this for about nine months before I canceled for a little bit just because I was getting overwhelmed with how many sheet masks I have. Face Story does offer two separate subscription services. You can do the four sheet mask box or you can do the seven sheet mask box. The seven sheet mask box is the one that I subscribe to every month. It costs me $19.95 and again you get seven sheet masks in it. Really love Face Story. Would also highly recommend the subscription service. And then I also have Allure and Ipsy. Both are $10 a month. These are more recent subscriptions for me and so far I've really enjoyed the Allure Beauty, Beauty Box. I have been really impressed with some of the items that we've gotten especially actually this one I think is $15 a month forgive me but especially for $15 a month I feel like it's a really good value and then Ipsy is like Meh. I'm not all that impressed but then I feel like the second I unsubscribe people are gonna get sent like a tart travel size blush which is like what I really want to get I don't know it's really stupid but um yeah, I don't know. Ipsy's probably my least favorite of the four subscription boxes that I'm currently subscribed to. I'm going to start with Face Story first since it's not necessarily makeup related. It's just skincare related. So you open it up and it's packaged in tissue paper. You get your postcard that kind of sets up the theme for the month. And then you also get a card that describes each of these seven sheet masks because a lot of these are K-Beauty sheet masks and the instructions are not in English. So the themed postcard for this month says girls just want to have sun. And looking at the seven sheet masks in here, it looks like they are all kind of like soothing and glowing sort of sheet masks is kind of what I'm gauging. So I'll quickly run through the seven sheet masks with you guys. They also included these fun stickers in the box as well, which I'm gonna save to use in my planner. These are super cute. All right, you guys, so these are the seven sheet masks. I love the fun colors of all these. The packaging on all these sheet masks are super cute. So the first one is the Sun Bay Soothing Mask, which is this one right here. This one has soothing ingredients for your skin that'll help restore your skin back to tip-top shape after a sunny day at the beach. Next up, we have the I'm Sorry for My Skin SOS Jelly Mask. This is another soothing mask. Then we have this Pore and Spot Care Mask. This one is for troublesome skin, so if you're noticing any blemishes or any pimples breaking through, you can use this sheet mask to kind of help combat that. We also got this very interesting sort of like two-step mask, kind of cute. Um, for me personally, I like just like a simple sheet mask, one that you can just toss on your face and there's not a bunch of steps to it. So I don't necessarily always love these, but it says this one is a wheat and celery mask and this is a two-step mask that'll work to cleanse your skin using healthy ingredients such as wheat and celery. So it has yeah. soothing aspects to the actual mask part as well. Then we also got this lifting sheet mask. This one is another two-parter. It has a boosting essence pad and a high-fitting mask to lift and firm your skin. I always love a good firming mask. I especially like to use these before I do my makeup if I'm going out. I was gonna say if I'm going to like a special event. And for me, a special event would be like <laughs> going to a concert with my friends uh, but I do like to use these when I am going out or something like that before I do my makeup if I'm doing something special or maybe like a special occasion with my family 
love sheet masks like these for that. Then we also got this aqua mask. I love a good hydrating sheet mask, so this sounds right on my alley. It sounds like this is just a good hydration mask that's going to help balance and moisturize your skin. Finally, we have the Keep Cool and Ocean Mask looks like this and this one is another hydrating one it says it's getting hotter and we want your skin to cool down and stay hydrated so those are the seven sheet masks that came in this month's face story seven Lux box again they have the seven Lux box or the four ever fresh option if you guys are interested in checking face story out i'll leave a link for it in my description box down below all right now let's move on to boxy charm i couldn't resist and I've already opened my boxy charm, so I know everything that I got. Again, this is $21, so out of the makeup subscription services, this is my most expensive. And this month, we got, it's really exciting because I feel like occasionally boxy charm will partner up with like really cool brands to do, to have palettes in their boxes. I've gotten some really cool palettes from boxy charm. And I was really excited to see the Party Animal palette by Laura Lee Los Angeles in this just because I personally wasn't going to go out and purchase any of the Laura Lee Los Angeles palettes, but if it's sent to me in a boxy charm, I'm definitely interested in checking it out. So as you can see, this just has fun, vibrant colors. I'm not going to lie, I've already swatched some of these and um, I don't know, the swatches don't seem all that promising to me like here's the blue and I feel like as I keep that's this blue right here right there I feel like the more I like rub my finger back and forth the more it just kind of dusts away to nothing so I don't know if these are gonna pack much of an actual punch when they're on the eyes the lime green one's a little bit better I don't know if you'll be able to see it as well with my lights um, but this purple one specifically right here in the corner I find to be super gritty Ooh, wait. Okay. I don't remember that one swatching that well. So there's that one. There was one that I feel like swatched super, super patchy. Maybe it was that blue, blue one I already swatched because that does look patchy. But now there's this aqua one which is swatching really well. Okay. Maybe I was just having an off day last time I swatched these. Uh, this one swatches really patchy. I know that doesn't always translate onto the eyes, but I don't have a lot of confidence in this blue shade right here but I'm excited to give this a try and uh, see how it performs and see if you know I'd be interested from purchasing from Laura Lee in the future I also got some eyelashes from House of Lashes which is really exciting I don't wear lashes that much so it's actually kind of nice when I get lashes in a subscription box because then I don't actually have to go out and purchase them these are the temptress lashes they look like this which I've actually considered purchasing in the past but just haven't bitten the bullet to do it so I was really excited to see these in this box we also got an item from smashbox which was really exciting this is one of their ombre rouge lipsticks and i had mine in the shade berry ombre now i thought this was a really really interesting lipstick as you can see there's like three separate colors in it and when i originally swatched it i had well even so i don't have like the highest hopes for it because it actually swatches where you can see each of the three different colors i have not yet tried this on my lips uh i don't necessarily know that it matched what i've got going on today so i'm not going to put this on my lips right now but i'll be interested to see if this is one that i want to hang on to or not especially because it kind of has like more berry tones in it and i don't love berry toned lipstick for me personally so more to come on this. Next, I got this age-defying nail treatment from Adesi or Adesse, New York. Not gonna lie, I was kind of not that excited about this just because I don't use nail treatments that much. I feel like I've gotten something similar to this in the past. I mean, my nails could definitely use the treatment. I just feel like this is an extra step. And right now, with a toddler, it's already so much of a hassle to paint my nails because then she sees me painting my nails and wants to paint her nails. Um, so adding an extra step to what's already a hassle just isn't all that exciting to me. So yeah, this was one that I was not not uber excited about, but meh. And then finally we got an item from Bang Beauty. I can't even remember what this was. I've actually gotten a blush from Bang Beauty before and I actually really enjoyed it. Oh yeah, this is a chocolate gel eyeliner. For some reason I thought this was... A brow product earlier when I opened it so okay so this is a gel eyeliner this is what the shade looks like 
I actually am going to give this, I was going to set this aside for a future giveaway, but I think I might give this a try. I am like die hard over the ColourPop cream gel eyeliners. I love to use those in my waterline because I feel like they last me all day. But I'm excited. Like I haven't tried a, a different gel eyeliner in probably a year and a half just because I'm so sold on the ColourPop one. But I'm definitely interested in trying one out. So I will definitely give this a try and see if I like it or not. All right, you guys, next up is Ipsy and Allure. I'm going to start with Allure. This one, again, is $15. And I haven't opened this one yet. So, or wait, yes, I did. I lied. I have opened this. I think I opened my Ipsy, too. I'm the most impatient person ever. So, with your Allure, you get a little, like, pamphlet that shows all of the different products inside. And then sometimes they will also send a coupon. And this looks like a coupon for Brita which is a watch company for $30 off your next order. Now let's jump into the products. This is what it looks like. Unfortunately, this comes with these stupid crinkle papers that I hate, despise, but okay. So right away, I noticed these two products from Nexus. Now Nexus is a pretty expensive hair company, or at least not the most affordable. So it looks like we got a shampoo, a protein fusion shampoo that has damage healing properties in it, and then also the conditioner. So I, I will never say no to a protein enriched shampoo and conditioner. I talk about it all the time on my channel, but I had a bleaching incident about a year and a half ago when I tried to bleach my, my hair myself, and it really didn't go well, and my hair has never been the same. So my hair is really damaged and could use all the help it could get. I'm going to toss these into my like hair samples that I do for like my sample pan roulette so that I can maybe select them out of there. Um, I'm kind of babbling away into nothing now, but if you guys haven't caught my sample pan roulette videos, I'll leave them linked below. I don't know. It's a, it's a fun series in my eyes. Maybe no one else thinks that, but I like it. Next up, we got a sample size of the lip sleeping mask from, I know I'm going to butcher the name. I, I hear people say it and then I always forget. Laneige. Laneige. Uh, I... I'm obsessed with this lip sleeping mask. I think it is phenomenal. I always have one in my collection, so I already know I love this product. But it'll be nice to have a little sample size just to carry around in my purse. I know this is a sleeping mask, but I use utilize it throughout the day, especially as we get into the colder months here in Minnesota, just because my lips could use all the hydration that they can get. So super excited about this one. And next up, we have this product from Larizity Cosmetics, and I haven't opened this one yet. I don't even know what this is. This is an illuminating light stick. Interesting. This is what it looks like. Let's see, I'm just going to put it. Okay, so it is a stick highlight and it actually looks like more, I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. You probably won't at all. It looks like a more subtle highlight, which sometimes I am all about and it kind of is very very neutral like it's champagne but like super light champagne so i feel like this could work for me i am going to give this a try i like my milk lipstick for very specific purposes i do find sometimes stick highlighters can be hard to work with because they tug away at your makeup so usually i'll just put mine on the end of a beauty blender or if i don't have any makeup on and i'm just getting ready to go to the gym and work out I'll put this on as a highlight so it kind of like already looks like I have that glistening sweat going on. I like love that look. I'm super weird. Anyway, so I'm excited to give this a try. This could be a definite hit or a, or a definite miss. We also got a product from Caudalie. We got their Moisturizing Sorbet. I have tried this before and I liked it. It just wasn't good enough for me to go out and purchase the full size because as you guys probably know, Caudalie is a really expensive, or Caudalie, I think it's Caudalie, sorry, um, is a really expensive brand. So if I'm gonna invest, I wanna really love the product, but I won't have any problem getting through this. I did really like it in the past, so yeah. And then finally, we got a skinny liquid eyeliner in the shade black from Ico. It's a felt tip liner. I'm not huge into, um, oh wow, wow. I'm not huge into winged liner because I suck at it, but damn, that is a black, black liner. This looks like if you're into winged liner, this could be a really good one. 
I'll give it a go. I'll probably look ridiculous when I try to utilize this, but this looks like a really nice product. And I think this is a full size. I don't know. I feel like Ico is more expensive, but I, I could be wrong about that. I could be very wrong. After that, you guys, that is everything that we got in the Allure Beauty Box. Now to finish off with Ipsy. All right, as you guys probably know, Ipsy is a bag. This is what the August bag looks like. Super cute coral with the cute um, yellow detailing. I like to keep these bags around. My daughter plays with them. Um, they're small. Sometimes I'll use them as like a coin purse. I don't, I don't know. They're nice. All right, so first and foremost, I pulled out this little lip product. This is from Macy and Mia. I've never heard of that brand before. And this looks like it is a gloss. Ooh, but it's a really pigmented, pretty gloss. I like that color. It's like a really pretty pinky nude. I'm excited to use this. I'm gonna pop this in my purse. Cute, I like this actually. Again, Ipsy's always like hit or miss for me. So yeah. Okay, next up we got some glow drops from Eddie Funkhauser. Uh, it's in like a little squeezy tube like this. Uh, I'm just like not into the liquid highlights. Okay. So. Ooh, again, this looks a little bit more. I'm doing this like right over that blue swatch. I don't think you'll be able. That just looks like a nice sort of wet look. I am actually really excited to try this because I like when it's like more of just like a subtle wet highlighty look. God, that's pretty. That is pretty. I am actually really excited for this too. So far for two out of two for this bag. Next up, okay, looks like we got a little Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I have gone through a full size of the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the past, and it's not my favorite. It's just really full coverage and pretty drying, but I do feel like I shouldn't have any problem getting through a little sample size of this. Um, I, I love different... I love switching out my concealer and this one is in the shade of light so this should work for me so I'd say we're three for three next up let's see we have this cryo activating hydrogel from 111 skin this is a gel for your entire face for a second I thought it might be like an eye cream so this is what the packaging looks like and I'm not like always super sold on gels for the face I prefer not gels that is what it looks like and it smells nice it's a really lightweight gel this might be nice for just like right before you put on your makeup you probably won't be able to tell but it kind of gives like a little bit of like a glossy look too i don't know i might like this i'm excited to try this one too we're four for four on ipsy all right and last but not least we got this Pixi product, Pixi by Petra. This is the Fresh Face Blush in Beach Rose. It looks like a really pretty neutral blush shade. And it's in this cute little travel size packaging. I'm trying to open it. I am so excited for this. What a great Ipsy. Okay, so this is what the blush shade looks like. That looks so pretty. I have like no fingers left to swatch. Oh gosh, that's going to be gorgeous. It's just like a nice bronzy neutral blush shade. Oh my god, this could be a new favorite blush shade. I am so excited for this. Are you... Oh, no! I'm scared to look. My heart is actually pounding. I just dropped the blush. Oh, it's fine. It's so funny because as I was setting this down, I was like, oh, what if this fell on the floor and cracked? And then it fell on the floor, but oh! gosh I'm so excited because I kind of would have been devastated by that anyway you guys after that that is going to conclude my monthly subscription unboxings let me know if you enjoyed this style of video if you like unboxings or if you are subscribed to any subscription services that you are currently loving let me know I love subscribing to new subscription services it's like a gift to yourself every month kind of weird but that's kind of how I see it Anyway, you guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you go, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!